back to my channel. I'm not naked, I have some clothes on as you can see. Today's tutorial is on this look right here. One of my favorite looks to do is a spotlight eye, no liner, nice glowy skin. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then stay tuned. So I'm gonna go in with the Brighter Days from Tarte. So this is just a moisturizer, but it also has like a nice iridescent glow. See, you can see that little bit of a glow. Primer, I'm gonna use the Smashbox Oil Primer. I like this because my skin's dry. I can't really use the other one, the, the Photo Finish or whatever it's called. You know, the most popular one. I can't really use that too often because it dries my skin out. Whereas this doesn't. For my foundation, I'm using Born This Way and the color Warm Nude. This is definitely one of my favorite foundations. It has a really good coverage and it has like a satin finish so it doesn't go too matte on the skin. But I really, 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 really like it. Now for my concealer, I'm going in with Shape Tape in the color Light. So I'm just gonna go underneath the eyes. Damp Beauty Blender and just pressing this out. Before I powder, I'm just gonna contour with the Hula Stick. So just gonna go under the cheekbones and around here and just kind of down around the jaw. Oh, my foundation brush I use is a Tarte brush. It has no name or no number, it's just Tarte. And to blend that out, I'm using a Morphe G38 brush. So just soft circular motions and just buff that out into the skin. I've changed brushes. That brush was just a little bit too small. I'm gonna use a Morphe Y11 brush. Now just to set my concealer, I'm gonna use the brightening powder from Laura Mercier. So just right underneath the eyes. The brush I use for that is the Caf on D Shade and Light Brush. It's the double ended brush. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna quickly do my eyebrows and then I'm gonna come back. For my eyes, I'm gonna use some of the new Anastasia Beverly Hills colors. The first color I'm gonna use is Brick, which is this shade right here. What I'm gonna actually use first is, I'm gonna use this Cheek Parade palette from Benefit, because I'm gonna use this on my face anyway. So I'm gonna take some of Hoola, this shade here, just to work as my first transition shade, because I think this might just be a little bit too dark to blend out easy, whereas if I go in with a transition shade first, this will help. I'm just going in with my Zoeva 228 brush. And now we're gonna go in with Brick and using the same brush. Just going right into the crease with this one. We're not going as high as we did with the last color. Now I need a darker shade, so I'm gonna use Fudge. This is from the World Traveler palette, but as far as I know, Fudge is also a single shadow color as well. So it's just this dark brown shade here. I'm going in with a MAC 217 brush and I'm focusing just on the outer corner here and then on the inner corner right here. Now 
think I'm just gonna add a teeny, 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 tinchy bit of black. Just so you really get the depth of this because we want the middle part here to really pop. So for the lid colour, I'm using this colour here called Sunset. So for the underneath of the eye, I think I'm just going to mimic the top. So it's going to be dark, dark, and then in here we'll do a lighter one as well, just to give it that little bit more. So I'm going in with Fudge first, which is the dark brown, and I'm using a small brush. This is a Morphe. M415, it's a little small shader brush. So just going right in here into the lash line. We'll do the inner bit here too. I'm just gonna use a different smaller brush. This is a Morphe brush with a white handle, there's no number and a little bit of brick, which is the warm tone color that I use first. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this just to kind of slightly buff out the inner and outer corner. So back in with Sunset, I'm gonna use the same lip brush and we're just gonna do the middle bit. And if you need to blend it out slightly, I'm just blending the edges slightly um, with no colour, just with a, a brush that has no product on, just to soften the edges here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a black pencil for the waterline, and this is a Marc Jacobs one, the one I've been using a lot lately. And I'm literally just going to do the outer and inner corner. I feel like I need to put a pencil in here too. Oh, that might work. So see right here? I'm gonna use that in the waterline just in the middle bit. This is a Marc Jacobs one as well and the color is Marigold. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly go and do this eye. For the inner corner, I'm using one of my favorite inner corner highlights for when I do warm smoky eyes and it's this one here. It's I'm Peachless. And it's from Makeup Geek and it has that soft, kind of peachy warm tone to it. So it always like blends in well when we go with warm tones. Let me just put a light bit. So I'm going in with my Makeup Forever bronzer as always. And the brush I'm using, I'm actually using a smaller brush today for my bronzer, just for a change. It's a Morphe or 14, I think. The name is kind of worn off it, but it's this kind of a shape. So I'm going underneath my cheekbones. I'm gonna go around the hairline, around the jaw, and maybe a little bit down the neck if needs be. And just to go over my contour a little bit more, I'm just gonna use the Hoola Powder from Benefit. From the same palette, I'm gonna use California. So I'm just gonna rub some on the apples of the cheeks. Just to add a little bit of color. Okay, for my highlight, you already know what it's gonna be. Today I'm actually going to use a 143, so it's more of a goldy shade. Yes, girl. The chin, I literally put highlight everywhere. And you know, I have no shame. I have no shame in the game. Cola and Norvina should be awarded medals for making this palette. I'm going to award them a medal of glowness for this. Ok, 
Okay, I'm just going to go with a nude on the lips just because I want the eyes to be the focus. So I'm just going to use Melted Matte from Too Faced and this is the colour Holy Chic. So this right here is the finished look. Nice glowy skin, spotlight eye, nude lips. Got my name all over it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join the family. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next one.